Hi, welcome to another installment of New Arrivals at Princeton Record Exchange. It's December 2008, and today, today we're featuring an amazing assortment of Beatles rarities. Stuff you just don't see every day. We've got a lot to go over, so we'll be really quick about it. Starting with the butcher cover, infamous butcher cover. When Yesterday and Today was first issued, it came with this controversial cover of the Beatles wearing smocks with decapitated babies, hunks of meat, quickly recalled by the company, sent back to the plant and pasted over with the cover that we normally see today. There's three different versions, first state, second state, and third state. The first state never had the cover pasted over. The second state looks like the regular, but it's got the picture underneath. If you want to find those, look for a black Ringo vest right here. That usually shines through. This isn't one, just as an example of what the regular cover looks like. And then third state, when people peeled off the old cover to reveal what was underneath. This happens to be an excellent peel job with very few peel problems. A lot of times they get really mutilated, so to speak, as they uh, were peeled off. But this one's quite beautiful. One of the nicest ones we've seen in a long time. Moving on, we have a Beatles UK 45 7-inch box set. Don't see this very often. <laughs> all 25 singles that were released between 62 and 70, all with these green covers on them. There's also a flexi inside with them talking and a little bit of description of the singles, as well as a four-song EP from Sgt. Pepper's in there. Next, we have the 7-inch Beatles EP collection, Blue Pebble Box, UK Import, about 1980, 81, something like that. Inside, there are 14 EPs. Box is a little bit tattered on the side, but otherwise in really good shape. And the EP covers really neat. Each one with the pictures. Just a really fun assortment of the EPs that came out while they were still a band, reissued in this case, but still pretty old in 1980-81. Next, we have the UK Mono Box, 12-inch LPs this time. All 10 records that were initially issued in mono. Uh, 1982, this was put out as reissue. Very rare. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in the store. from Please Please Me, Meet the Beatles, up to uh, Yellow Submarine, being the last that was recorded in true mono. Excellent shape, pristine, the records unplayed, the box unbent. Really fine quality. Next, we have the Beatles Collection, also a blue pebbly box, like the uh, EP one earlier. Also 1981, 82, something like that. Uh, the UKs are relatively common, but this is a US press, identifiable by the number on the box. This one is number 1021 out of 3,500 that were issued. UK vinyl inside except for the US, the rarities is a US promo uh, and again the number differentiating it from the much more common UK. Next we have another box set from Liverpool made around 1980. Eight LPs, 128 tracks, Kind of a story of, if you can see that, uh, each one of those, uh, different orders from how the albums were released, and these really great covers on all of the uh, records inside. Uh, it's very uncommon, just don't see it very often. Nice to see it in such great shape. Next, we have something really neat. I've never seen these in the store, although I've heard about them. Uh, the Beatles had a fan club magazine, and from 1964 to 1969, at Christmas time, issued a flexi uh, that came in each one. We have the two from 1964, the 65, 66, the 68, and 69. As you can see, they got a little trippier as time went on. Don't know what they were doing there, but the records themselves, let's see if we can do this with one hand, 
wore these very flimsy flexies, like when I was a kid, you'd cut them out of the back of a cereal box. Uh, sound quality maybe not so great, but really super rare collectible and a lot of fun to see. And we've got a really pristine copy of the Mobile Fidelity box, Beatles Collection. Uh, all the albums put out in their time. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, Mobile Fidelities were an audiophile label that would buy up the rights, put it out on high quality vinyl, half speed masters, they really sound incredible. Inside are all the records, uh, but they don't have the normal covers on them, as you can see, but it does come with a great separate art book with all the covers on there as well as something called a geodisc which was designed for cartridge alignment really a very nice box we see one or two a year but not usually in this pristine condition and finally the sergeant pepper's uhqr mobile fidelity had the regulars like the box also available singly but the uhqr was their top top of the line only 5,000 ever made, 200 gram vinyl, certificate of authenticity, hand numbered, I think we're at, uh, what are we, 38.94 out of the 5,000. Extremely sought after worldwide. I've seen one of these every maybe three or four years. So again, just a pleasure to have such fine quality Beatles items in stock. So that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed seeing this small selection of really fun rarities and we hope you get a chance to visit us soon. Check out these great Beatles titles and all of our other product at Princeton Record Exchange in Princeton, New Jersey.